they started the show, the pre-show, the show before the show, when people are still coming into the building. I'm not kidding. A 16-man tag team match. It... <sighs> I don't, I don't even know what to say. As a matter of fact, I, I couldn't, I said, what the f***? There's so many entrances and what the f***? And you couldn't really visually know who was on whose side, so I didn't know how to write the names down. Did they report the result of this on the inter, interweb anywhere? Oh, let me find it, because I saw that it was taking place, but I did not watch uh, the totality of uh, the pre-show. No, the, well, uh, there's, there was a couple of things we want to talk about, but I couldn't even keep track to try to write the names down okay, of who it. was in this on who's on what team Did, can you can you give uh, give the report on this yes the team of Tommy Billington the dynamite kid oh boy kip sabian rocky romero kyle fletcher leo rush action andretti and top flight with don callis Manager to babyface. I was like, yes, again, <laughs> what the fuck? The heel manager with a random, three people on that team that you just enumerated, by the way, there are Mexican minis that are bigger than these people. Well, they defeated the team of Jay Lethal, Satnam Singh, Anthony Agogo, Arya Davari, Private Party, and the Dark Order with Evil Uno and Sanjay Dutt at ringside. Yes, in a, in a 16-man tag team match, there were still managers and stooges at ringside. And I, was that just to confuse people as they came in? They're thinking, wait, what the fuck? Is this the Battle Royal? Is this the, did we miss the start of the show? What, why would you, how many plane tickets did Tony Khan buy for people to just, Come over for the experience. Sort of like as when Crockett used to send the 16 top guys to the NWA convention for a vacation in Vegas or St. Martin or whatever. Hey, I got 150 people on the roster. Let's just fly them all to England. We'll figure out something. <sighs> Felcher's team won. Did, but he, here was a positive. As we're starting this thing, we start the compliment sandwich. I think they shot 50,000 people this year better than they shot 80,000 last year. It looked bigger, didn't it? I thought they did a better job of shooting the show this year than last year. And some people sent some photos saying, like, look, here are the empty seats. You know what? They did a great job on TV of hiding those because you didn't see them. And yeah, if, if they have 30,000 empty seats in that stadium, they did a great fucking camouflage oh, yeah. job. I think actually, you know, we rip on AEW production a lot, especially the audio, and there were audio issues here. Max Castor, you couldn't even really hear his rap, but they did a great job of shooting the room. Great job, I think. The room, it's the whole damn house. The house, the they shot the there. house. And, you know, everybody was up for it. They were wearing their... Their finest frocks. Aubrey Ed had her mane freshly groomed. Did you see that? That everybody was excited. Um, I don't think I've ever seen her with her hair out before a referee on a show. Um, well, she she didn't really she didn't have her hair out. Out would indicate that well, she took it off her head and the, put it on the <laughs> dresser table or something. That's not what I meant. I mean, she didn't have her ponytail. Her hair is always sticking out. In some fashion, from her, it, it starts at her scalp and it protrudes, it exudes until the end of the the follicleization. So it's always out in some fashion. It was just it was out in different different shapes. 